Hey there friends, on today's video we are going to be unboxing and setting up these AirTags. And we have the four pack, but this is obviously going to work if you just have a single AirTag that you're wanting to set up. All right, let's jump into it. So first off, let's go ahead and see what comes in this four pack box. It's going to open up the seal here at the bottom and then we can reach in and we can see basically everything that's included. Obviously this comes in the nice Apple packaging, so everything is laid out pretty great. There's our air tags. We have a few little instructions here and uh, basically we can get started with one of these guys. So this is a fairly straightforward process. Basically we need to have our device, either our iPhone or an iPad, set up with the latest iOS, and then we need to have the Bluetooth turned on so that it can connect to these little guys for the setup process. Once we do that, we can then pull this tab right here, and this basically will take off the sticker and then unconnect the battery. There's a little sleeve that basically makes sure the battery is not connected while it's in progress here. And once this thing comes completely off, it will then automatically recognize your Bluetooth phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to switch to my phone mode so you can see that screen, and we're gonna remove this film completely. Okay, so we're on my iPhone, and basically, again, all we need to do is make sure that we have our Bluetooth on. If you need to do that, click the settings, make sure the Bluetooth at the top is on. If it's not on, just click on that, and then you can slide the little slider into the on position. And now we are ready. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fully remove that little film sleeve that's on the AirTag. And again, you'll have to pull it directly out from the little uh, casing. And then this is what is gonna show up on your phone. And as you can see, it's got the little AirTag right there and we are going to hit the connect button. So at this point, we can name the AirTag. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my bike. You will need to register the AirTag to your Apple ID. And then you can see it's auto named. I'm gonna show you how to update that naming scheme later though, if you want to name it something different. So here are some things that obviously we can do with the AirTag. We can have it notify us whenever it's left behind. We can have it play a sound. When we get close with our iPhones, we can actually find this specific tag. And then we can obviously say, hey, the magic word there and then where is my bike and then it'll bring it up on a map for us to find. So we can click done at this point or you can actually view in the find my app if we'd like to. That's how easy it is to set up an AirTag, super simple. Apple really does a great job with their products as long as it's proprietary. Obviously they make sure everything works really seamlessly and easily. We're gonna be doing a couple of additional videos on some small things like, again, how to rename your AirTags. If this has helped, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because we're making a ton more videos. All right, friends, we will see you again on the next one.